Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. Now I'm going to show you how to crop photos in iPhoto. Here you'll see the photo I worked on in the last video on editing the color. So once again, I'm going to go to the Edit button here, which brings up the Edit pane. And now, well, before actually cropping, You'll, you may want to use the straighten function. So if you'll notice on this photo, I think the cameraman was a little crooked because the pier, which I can tell you from experience is definitely level, looks a little tilted. So I'll use the straighten button here and watch what I can do. I can just drag this and the photo will tilt one way or the other. And, I, and it's got that little yellow grid there to line things up, so I think that looks pretty close to level for that pier. And when I'm done, I just click the Done button. Okay, so now that it's straightened, now I can crop it. So the Crop button here, it'll start off by showing you the um, size of the photo. So this photo is uh, 3872 pixels by 2592. Um, under here you'll see a bunch of various options and the thing to remember is while that is in pixels and so is this top one all of these are really just proportions. Um, if you want to export the file to a certain size as far as pixels that's a different function that I'll show you in the next video. But let's say you want this to be the proportion of like an 8 by 10 that you might frame. So if you pick 8 by 10, you'll see that this has shrunk a little bit, this frame here. And now if you drag a corner, I'll take this one, click, hold, and drag, you'll see that it always stays in that 8 by 10 proportion. So you can change the size that way. Actually, let's bring this down a little bit. And then you can also click in the middle here and move the frame around. So let's say I want it like that. Now when I'm done, I can just click Done. And it's removed the, uh, everything outside of that frame. Now the nice thing is, iPhoto remembers what the original was like. So you can always, like it says here, revert to previous. or you can just go back to crop and you'll see that it has remembered what was outside there, it just isn't showing it to you anymore. So if you decide you want a different proportion, you can do that. You know, let's say you want a square one. Or you can even do uh, your own size here. Let's say you ultimately want to export this photo to a website that um, requires your photo to be um, 400 by 600. Well, you can just type in 400 by 600, and that's actually 400 by 600 there. But now, if you drag this, it will again stay in that proportion, and you'll know that it's in the 400 by 600 proportion regardless of how many pixels are actually in there. So I'll say done to that. Now, another thing you might want to do, if you want to get fancy on here, and you'll do this after you've cropped the photo, is under Effects, you can do these cute little things like vignette, or a matte border, or even blur the border like this. And you'll see I've actually been adding these up. So let me go turn that off. So there's the edge blur. And most of these have levels. You know, you just click on it on the arrows here to make it more or less blurry on the edge. Or you can turn them all off by clicking the None button. Okay, so that's a few tips on how to crop a photo in iPhoto and a few effects you can add to it. So go play around with your own and um, have some fun.